WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Monday, two hours left to go in the trading day. We got markets trading in positive territory to start off the trading week. Earnings week kicking off, big week of bank earnings beginning tomorrow with the biggest bank of them all, J.P. Morgan, in the morning. Right now, S&P futures up 17 points, more than half a percent, trading at 32.81. We got the Dow up just 40 points, Dow lagging a bit compared to the other indices. Dow up 40 on the dot at 28,863. NASDAQ leading the way up 72 points, trading at 92.51. Gold backing off a bit. We got gold off about $10 at 15.50. Oil, negative 72 cents. Oil continuing the slide. Oil was almost at $66 last week. Right now, trading at $58.32. And the dollar index basically flat off 15 ticks at 97,340. We're going to kick things off. We're going to kick it off with a chart of the 10 year yield. Right now, pretty muted action today, 1.84% on that 10 year yield as we start off the trading week of bank week, bank earnings. Of course, interest rates pretty crucial to their earnings. Jumping over to the charts, we'll start it off with the indices. As I mentioned, the Dow, a little bit of a laggard. Dow trading 28,823, approaching the lows that we had at about 10 a.m. this morning. NASDAQ 100, quite a different chart. I'm going to flash back and forth again. There's your Dow. There's your NASDAQ 100, leading the way just off the highs we made about one hour ago, that being 9,071 in the NASDAQ 100, currently trading 9,063. S&P 500 just off the highs as well, currently trading at 32.80. Crude, as I mentioned, backing off a bit, quite a downtrend from about 8.30, reaching a low at about 11.30 of a 57 handle, 57.98, currently trading 58.28. Gold contract, 15.50.55 right now, and the euro U.S. dollar trend at 111.39. In terms of what else you have happening, I mentioned it, bank earnings, they're starting tomorrow. There is a list. You want to check it out, the front page of TFNN.com. You'll see the morning market report, and quite a list it is. J.P. Morgan, Citi, Wells Fargo, all tomorrow morning. Wednesday morning, Bank of America, along with a plethora of others, and it goes for the entirety of the week. We got Goldman Sachs on Wednesday. We got Morgan Stanley on Thursday. Regions Financial, State Street. It just uh, doesn't stop. Earnings season, always a fun time. And we'll finish it up. How about Tesla? Now up 8% on the day. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White, live at 2. Tom O'Brien, live at 3. We'll be right back.